Good morning everyone, it's the 24th of April 2014. A very good morning, it's a lovely day, 20 degrees. Now, unlike last year, when I did not come out until the 26th of May, so I'm out a, a month earlier and I have done much more. A number of things I have done, if I've changed the grapevine, I've made new cuttings, so I'll have to go without grapes this year and wait till next year. We'll have a brief look around and see where, where, where things are going, uh, what I'm doing and what I intend to do. And uh, I hope the weather keeps up and we'll have some fun. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye huh? and thanks for watching. Well, I always start with my best plants, the ones that are growing strongest, and here, of course, are the, ru are the rhubarb. Uh, plenty of rhubarb in here, but they're covered. Uh, you can see them all in their rhubarb, all big leaves on them. I have more rhubarb over here. This is more rhubarb, and they will grow, and they'll have a, a good supply. Now, moving down along here, I have my potatoes for this year. I grew them about three weeks ago, so they're doing fine at the moment. Along here, not so many, but uh, I will get a, a sufficient supply. Uh, in here I have little gem, uh, which is uh, uh, nice lettuce. A few cabbages here, I do like cabbage occasionally. And in here we have uh, scallion. This is, uh, Irish scallion, I brought them from Ireland years ago, they're, they're very tasty, they're a little bit like chives but they're very very tasty indeed. Along here, nothing in this bed, this will be for courgettes and some warmer plants. In here I have spinach, under this net is spinach and they're already coming up, you might see a little shoots coming there, but that's a good sign. In here, here are some asparagus, uh, you can see that I have asparagus coming up there. I have been eating asparagus now for the last three weeks and they will continue hopefully for about 15 years more. So once, I down, once they're down and growing, they keep growing. Along here there's nothing at all. This will be for stuff from the greenhouse, uh, green peppers, etc. Yesterday I put in carrots in here. Now I covered the carrots, which is unusual, but we're expecting a lot of rain and we're expecting a lot of um, cold to come. And I have put, uh, I'll decide what's in here in a minute. Uh, I covered it under the net. Yeah, we, we'll see what's in there. Let me see what I put. Oh yes. Spring onions, no less. Again, uh, the spring onions don't, don't like a lot of uh, rain and they don't like a lot of cold at night. Uh, nothing in this bed yet. There will be courgettes in here. In this bed here, I lift this netting. So this is, um, you will see, um, onions here. They are French onions, which we do for cocovan. They are shallots. Leave them back and then here at the garlic. And there's a few garlic in here. Okay. In this pot here I have Jerusalem artichoke. Jerusalem artichoke. And uh, moving down here, the raspberry beds. They're coming up, they're about two foot high, no nothing spectacular happening yet. And this little bed here has thyme, uh, parsley, uh, mint, and they will uh, come up a bit more later. Nothing yet in here yet, but there will be later on, green peppers, etc. This is where I uh, replanted, redone the, the, the grapes along here. And they will go down and they'll come out like this. Here I have rosemary and I have lavender. And this is a fig tree. This one here, if we can see the fig tree. Yeah, that's a fig tree. This is how I do the strawberries. Uh, to keep them from spreading, I put them in a bin, a big round bin, and little holes in the bin, and they come out. Already, the flowers are coming on the strawberries, so I will not be surprised how many we'll get there yet. As we go along, I thank you for watching. Please keep in touch with our allotment. 
and thank you again bye this is our famous pond and uh, this morning there were three or four ducks with about seven or eight young ducks now they're hiding on me but uh, we will see where they're hiding see if we can home in on them a little bit uh, they usually have a little duck's house on the island in here yes we see them now yeah they're in there and uh, more flying around uh, I don't know if I can home in on those a little bit a little bit more probably not yeah the ducks are in there I don't know if you can see them or not but they're sitting here in there uh, she's looking after about seven or eight of them and she's a very good mother okay